Hello, Captains, and welcome to another exciting episode on Star Trek Online. So we're going to be continuing with Frozen. We know from the information you recovered from the Vahar system that the Tal Shiar are planning to attack a Riemann settlement in the Dara system. We have an opportunity to reach the settlement first. This may be a completely internal matter, and if so, the Prime Directive will come into play. We will not be able to interfere, but if there is an outside influence directing these matters, we must know what it is. Our encounters with the Undine and the Changelings have proven that there are entities attempting to move the powers of the Quadrant like pieces in a Cal Toe game. It is essential to protecting the Federation to see these attempts for what they are and counter them. I want you to go to the Dara system and learn more about the Riemann uprising. The Riemanns will have hidden their base, so you may have to use subterfuge to find it. One more thing. I realize this is a dangerous situation and that you may be drawn into conflict, but do not antagonize the Remans or the Romulans if you can avoid doing so. We are already at war with the Klingon Empire. I would prefer to avoid another extended conflict. Very well, Admiral. I have new missions for So let's go to the Dara system. Admiral, the Raymonds are jamming our sensors, so there's no way to determine where their base is located without assistance. We will need a guide. Sensors are picking up a communication satellite nearby. We should be able to modify it to emit a signal that the Raymonds will think is from one of their ships. When the Raymonds send someone to investigate the signal, we can get a sensor lock on their ship and follow them back to their base. Sounds like a plan. Modifications are complete, Admiral. When we trigger the transmission, the Remans should think it's from one of their vessels that is losing power and needs assistance. There is a micro nebula aft of our location that should be sufficient to conceal the Long Island's energy signature while we wait for the Remans guide to arrive. Well, let's go. Signal work captain Raymond Scout is in range. It's moving to scan the area. Since lock confirmed, we'll be able to track it if they go to war. Large energy buildup, sir. Ramblin' battleship decloaking. Captain, they're firing on the Raymond ship. The ships, engines, and weapons are damaged. They're cloaking, attempting to reestablish sensor lock. Captain, the Riemann ship is cloaked, but its, dam its engines are damaged and sensors are detecting a tachyon leak they can't stay hidden for long. If we distract the Romulans, and then the Riemanns will have a chance to decloak and go to warp. Otherwise, I don't think they can last long against the Romulans. If the Riemann vessel is destroyed, we'll lose our best chance at finding the base. Captain coming hail from the lead Romulan vessel. They know we're here, putting on the main view screen now. Ah, you're a good distance out of your Federation's territory, aren't you? 
Offer no aid or assistance to these Riemann rebels and leave this system immediately. If you do so, I can overlook your intrusion into an internal affair. Otherwise, I would be forced to see your presence here as an invasion of Romulan territory. That would be unfortunate for you. You think so? Admiral, the Riemann scout ship has decloaked. They're trying to shake us. We need to stay close until they we can get a lock on the ship's warp signature. I think we can do that easily enough. Raymond ship has executed a short warp jump and I have a lock in the coordinates. Ready to engage warp as soon as you're ready. Let's follow the Raymond scout. Not picking up any ships here, Admiral. I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised if there are one or more cloaked ships in the area. Raymond cloaked ships can appear as constellations of tachyon particles. I will continue to scan the area. There is something of interesting on the planet's surface, however. Sensors are detecting a large underground installation. It could very well be the base that the Raymond resistance is using. The entire area is protected by a magnetic shield, though, so we can't transport inside. There is a series of caverns connected to the installation. We could send a team down there to try to find a way to disable or circumvent the magnetic shielding. Well, let's beam down and find out. Admiral, this is incredible. The underground cavern we are in is natural, but the base itself is a ship, the Derridex class. My tricorder readings are correct. The Romulans moved a derelict vessel into the cavern. We appear to be in a maintenance area adjacent to the hull of the ship. The Raymonds probably mine these tunnels for raw materials. I'm picking up multiple veins of ore that could be useful if they're replicating ship parts or weapons. I'm not reading any way into the ship from here. No, we need to find an entrance.
This tunnel leads directly into the main area of the base, sir, but it's completely blocked. I wonder if a weapon on its highest setting would breach it. The gate is made of titanium alloy, Admiral. There's no way a hand weapon will blast through it. We need something with a lot more power. That's it. Sir, did you see the mining laser? If it's operational, we might be able to modify it to do the job. I think the controls for the laser on the other side of this wall. Something must be wrong with the mining laser, you think? We should perform a more detailed scan to determine the source of the problem. Don't you think you would have scanned it first? Admiral, the mining laser's power system isn't strong enough. We won't be able to cut through titanium. I think there are several different ways we can fix this. Your career training will help. Remember working with similar laser in your applied science classes? If you could augment the focusing lens, you should be able to amplify the effect. There are crystal formations in the maintenance tunnels. One of them might have a crystal with the correct properties. Well, let's find out. The crystal appears to be the correct size and purity. We need it to be shaped or refined before you can use it to amplify the mining lasers out there. Final process complete. It did serve power to the mining laser steady and I should be able to fire. Test the path to the Riemann base is clear. The Riemanns will be alerted to our presence, so we need to be careful. But I have a feeling that Obisek wants to wants to see us. I got a sure about that last.
This place won't be safe forever. We have to be ready to leave at a moment's notice. Prepare the... Ah, it's you. Welcome to the heart of the Resistance, little spy. There is so much for us to discuss, and so little time. The Tal Shiar have discovered this, our last refuge. They will be here soon, and my people and I will have to fight for our lives. Yet one question remains. Will you be our friend, or our enemy? My hope is that you are here to talk, but I am prepared for the alternative. The Tal Shiar could arrive at any time. Speak quickly. Why are you doing this? Why fight the Tal Shiar? Why? You ask why? This place is one of the last sanctuaries left to my people, and even it is lost to us now. The Romulans have driven us from our homes, destroyed our ships, and captured or killed our loved ones. They seek to exterminate us, and we will not go quietly. Understand, I do not want this war. I want freedom for my people. It is the Romulans and the Dark Masters they serve who have caused this. Now they must suffer the consequences. Is there anything else you wish to ask? Did Sela order these attacks? This campaign of terror is the Tal Shiar's doing, not the Empress's. Still, Sela does nothing to stop it. There is little love between the Empress and the Tal Shiar. Did you know that many years ago, she was exiled from Romulus for attempting to assassinate the head of their order? The Tal Shiar have their own masters, and Sela despises what she cannot control. Is there anything else you wish to ask? Why do you think the Tal Shiar are doing this? Hakiv and the Tal Shiar no longer serve the Empire. The demons of air and darkness are their masters now. They whisper in the night for chaos and despair, and Hakiv gives them blood as tribute. Our blood. Is there anything else you wish to ask? Tell me more about these demons. I have never seen one of these demons, and I will not speak their name, but I know they exist. Eons ago, they ruled this part of the galaxy. After thousands of years of tyranny and death, the races they ruled rose up against them, driving them from their home world into unexplored space. We thought they had been destroyed. We were wrong. The demons of air and darkness survive, and they hunger for revenge. Is there anything else you wish to ask? Do you still have Thaleron weapons? A small supply. They are terrible things. Weapons of war so horrible, they should have never been invented at all. But they were. And my enemies are great. If I must resort to barbarism to free my people, that is not too high of a price to pay. Is there anything else you wish to ask? Have you tried to find a peaceful solution? There will be no peace. Not while Hakiv lives. This is not a problem that can be solved by diplomacy. Hakiv kills my people, I kill his. That is how it will be, until one of us is dead. Is there anything else you wish to ask? What do you want from me? We need your help. Talk to Starfleet Command. Tell them what you have seen. Tell them if my people are to survive, we need assistance. Starships, soldiers, medicine, protection for the refugees. I'm asking for the Federation's aid. You claim to be an organization dedicated to freedom for all peoples. Tell me, will you help my people now? Is there anything else you wish to ask? I may not agree with your tactics, but I will not stop you. I am glad you see things my way. Get instructions from your commanders if you must, but the battle rages and we must join it. With your help, my people will be free. I'm pleased you see that my cause is just. We can do great- Sir, Romulan transporter signals detected. The Tal Shiar have entered the base. Start the evacuation. We must get the civilians out. Commander Roshna, transport the reinforcements here. Tell them to assist our new ally. I will return to my ship and attempt to hold off their forces. Help my soldiers defend this base. Fight well, my friend. My people are counting on you. Emerald, we lost our transporter lock on you and, and the away team. The Tal Shiar must have activated a transport and hill inhibitor. You need to find that inhibitor and shut it down. Let's do it.
Our room should be able to handle it from here, Admiral. We should return to the ship and report to Admiral Tanay. Obersec trusts us. I don't know if he's right about the outside influence on Hakeem's actions, but I'm sure that he believes these demons are real. If there's someone directing Hakeem to attack the Remans, this isn't a purely internal matter, and now the requirements of the Prime Directive aren't as clear. Even if he's wrong, Obsec is asking for help. Without it, the Remans may be exterminated. Are we supposed to simply ignore genocide? I sympathize with Obasek's plight, but I do not know if we will be able to assist him. He has no proof of these demons that he claims are directing Haki's actions. Without that, becoming directly involved in this conflict would be a violation of the Prime Directive. We will protect the Federation, offer aid to the refugees, and keep this conflict from spilling over into our territory. But if Obasek and his followers are going to continue this fight, they will do so without Starfleet support. I have new missions for you. Congratulations, Admiral. Thank you, Admiral. And I do apologize for the short video, but we will pick it up again next week. Thank you much for watching. Have a good night.